In this video, we will discuss about the types of scales. Depending on the type and size of object, we need to use different types of scales to represent them on paper. Let's say we have drawn a building plan on a sheet. But on what scale we have drawn it? Let's say the building is 10 meters or 1000 centimeters in length. We can't draw 10 meters length on paper. So, we scale it down to a small length that can fit into the paper. Let's say we scaled it down to 5 centimeters. That is 1000 by 5 equals 200. We have scaled it down to 200 times smaller than the original building. So, every side in the drawing should be scaled down in this ratio. Here, we have taken 5 centimeters equals 10 meters. This is called scale. Assume that I have given this drawing to the builder or owner of the building without specifying the scale on the sheet. They can't build the house with that plan because they don't know at what length they should construct the walls. So, we should definitely mention the scale on the drawing. There are two ways to mention the scale on the drawing sheet. Engineering scale. Graphical scale. Let's see engineering scale. We can directly mention the scale, 5 cm equals 10 meters, or 1 to 200, that is numerical value, on the drawing sheet. This numerical representation of scale, is nothing but, engineering scale. But, there are some problems, with this kind of representation of scale, on the drawing sheet. Firstly, as the drawing ages, or gets older, the paper shrinks. When the paper shrinks, the drawing on the paper also shrinks. The drawing loses its original values, that is, the original length we have drawn, reduces from, 5 cm, to suppose, 4 cm. But, the scale we have mentioned is, 5 cm, that is, 10 m wall is 5 cm in drawing. But, now, it shrank to, 4 cm. If we give it to the builder, he thinks it's 4 cm, and the total plan goes wrong. The second problem is, nowadays, the drawings are prepared on computers. While taking printouts, we have various choices of paper size, such as, A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. The drawing size, may be reduced, or increased, depending on the size of printing paper. This also creates problems, as the original dimensions are reduced, or increased. So, the numerical representation of scale, that is, engineering scale, is not enough. To avoid those problems, we need an alternative way, to mention the scale of drawing. Here comes the graphical scale. This representation of scale, solves the above two problems. Graphical scales. Graphical scale means, the scale is drawn on the drawing sheet itself, graphically, with showing measurement units on it. Instead of showing the scale, numerically, we show that, graphically, on the drawing sheet. We may get a doubt that, how it solves the above two problems? Well, our aim is to represent, a 10 meter long line, as a 5 centimeters line, or in the ratio of 1 to 200, and we need to identify it as, a 5 centimeters line, even if the drawing shrinks, or increases. As the drawing shrinks, the graphical scale will also shrink, in proportion to drawing. Or, if the drawing enlarges, the graphical scale will also enlarge, in proportion to drawing, and gives accurate value. If we observe the two scales, for a 10 meters building, that is represented with 5 centimeters long lines, when you take print out on a A1 size paper, the drawing enlarges to, let's say, 6 centimeters. In case of graphical scale, we have a scale drawn on the sheet itself, showing the dimensions. This scale also increases, in proportion to drawing, so, if we take the scale, and measure the increased line, the scale shows the correct dimension only. That is, this line should be of length, 5 cm. Then, the builder builds the wall of length, 10 m. In case of an engineering scale, it is not possible to know, the real measurements. Graphical scales, are used in survey maps. 
The scale of a drawing should be indicated at the appropriate place in the title block. The title block should be provided in the bottom right corner of the drawing sheet. There are different types of graphical scales available. Five scales are important among them. They are plane scale, diagonal scale, vernier scale, comparative scale, scale of chords. To use those scales, we need to understand some of the basic conversions in units. These are some of the basic conversion units. While drawing, we may come across two different dimensions, such as decimeter to centimeter, meter to decimeter, etc. In that case, we need to know the relation between both dimensions. In this video, we have discussed types of scales.